We just finished Qubits 2024, D-Wave's Quantum Computing Conference. The theme of the event was success powered by quantum, and it was a fantastic opportunity for the community to get together, to share with one another their experiences, their success stories, and their lessons learned. Through 30 sessions across two days, we heard about how quantum technology is having a broad impact with commercial adoption across a variety of industries, as well as some of the latest product innovations and scientific advancements that are setting the state of the art in quantum computing technology today. Now, some of you may have missed the event or only been able to catch part of the live stream. So I'm excited to share with you a set of key takeaways from the event as I saw it as the MC this year. In the area of commercial adoption, we heard from many companies about a wide variety of applications. Lindsay Dukowski of Patterson Food Group talked about how they're saving 80% of their time in e-commerce grocery delivery driver scheduling, an application they've had in production since 2022. And they're also rolling out their second application, in-store workforce scheduling, which they expect will save them up to 50,000 hours each year and allow them to operate more consistently and efficiently. Demir Bogdan from Quantum Basel spoke about working with companies across Europe to help them build quantum hybrid applications. Working with Vensi Energies, they've built a design optimization application for heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems in new buildings, something which produces simpler designs and has a lower cost for the components. They're also working with BKW on solar panel optimization and with Hermes on last mile delivery optimization. Bill Wazowski of SAS talked about combining SAS via technology with D-Wave hybrid solvers on challenging problems in kidney exchange programs. He was able to achieve fully optimal solutions in six times less time by putting those technologies together. These are all data points that fit a broader pattern that we heard spoken about by Bob Sorensen of Hyperion Research. He shared the results of a report commissioned by D-Wave where 20% of the companies that were surveyed talked about having plans in the next 12 to 18 months to run in-production quantum applications. In addition, those companies that were exploring quantum technology were expecting to see a 20 times return on the quantum optimization investments. Dale Moore, president of Davidson Technologies, spoke about important applications in national defense, including the scheduling of phased array radar systems where they're seeing a 15% increase in utilization and applications in interceptor assignment. We were excited to announce with Dale the installation of our second US-based Advantage system, which will be placed at Davidson Technology Headquarters in Huntsville, Alabama. In the area of product innovations, D-Wave was excited to announce the release of our new nonlinear program solver. It offers double the problem-solving capability, handling up to 2 million variables. And it also supports an expressive language for problem formulations that is going to allow application developers to build more quickly and get the performance and scalability that they're looking for. This new solver is available in Leap right now. And considering that Leap has greater than 99% availability, it's clear that D-Wave is the only company providing quantum cloud access that meets enterprise requirements for production applications. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is that the architecture of our quantum processors are quantum neural networks. There's a very close connection between quantum computing and artificial intelligence techniques. John Zorio of Zapad AI spoke about building quantum generative artificial intelligence so that they can tackle important applications in drug discovery and supply chain management. Wojtek Fedorko of Triumph talked about the quantum artificial intelligence techniques that they're building to tackle the tremendous data processing tasks they have at the particle accelerator there. We've all heard about how artificial intelligence workloads are consuming a tremendous amount of power. What's interesting is that D-Wave quantum computers consume 15 kilowatts, relatively low power, and that's the same amount of power that our first generation quantum computers consumed, the same as we have in our fifth generation quantum computers. The reason for that is that the actual quantum processors themselves consume less than a tenth of a millionth of a watt. So if we can offload some computationally intense workloads in artificial intelligence from classical computers to quantum computers, we have the opportunity to impact the sustainability of compute in a really positive way. One of the most exciting recent scientific advancements was a preprint published by D-Wave, where we demonstrated a calculation on our quantum computers in 20 minutes that would take more than a million years to do on a classical supercomputer. And the power saved would be more than the equivalent of the global energy consumption for an entire year. Carlton Coffrin of Los Alamos National Laboratory has talked about using this to realize his vision for new materials discovery. In their mag lab, they want to use these calculations to fill an important gap 
between what they can actually measure in physical systems and what they can simulate. And by using these calculations, they'll get important insights into the nature of these materials. It was the release of D-Wave's Fast Anneal feature that is enabling Carlton and his colleagues, as well as researchers around the world, to explore these new techniques and perform these really powerful calculations. Those were my key takeaways from Qubits 2024, and I really feel we achieved our goal of bringing the community together. The growing number of people actively using quantum computing technology is a testament to its utility, and I invite you to start using it now. Whether you're just starting to consider quantum or you're ready to take the next step, we're here to help guide you. Thank you for joining me for this recap, and I look forward to our future discussions on how we can help you succeed with quantum.